For the last week, I've been almost obsessed with this tune. Uh, last week you saw me working on the B part and um, after a break I felt that the, um, the actual A part wasn't okay anymore. Um, I will play it you once so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, it's nice, but uh, especially since I had got an idea of the title, uh, Ginger Fox, it started feeling kind of boring and not. it didn't have the excitement and the character. And also I, I played this, uh, this version to uh, our band members and uh, Thomas commented that uh, he would... Uh, he would expect it, expect the song to be a little bit more up tempo, and uh, so uh, I was feeling uh, I need to change that part and uh, delete that and come up with something else. When it comes to music, I really like to trust my intuition and. Uh, take impulses and ideas from uh, everywhere. Uh, just uh, try to always keep my uh, eyes and ears open. And a uh, few things actually helped me to come up with an idea for this A part, which I consider very, very nice and uh, something kind of fresh uh, for myself. Uh, first of all, um, lately I've been listening to a lot of uh, film scores and uh, also quite a lot of older like 80s synth soundtracks and stuff but uh, that day I was listening to Hans Zimmer's uh, Days of Thunder soundtrack what really um, made me pay attention was how the bass was kind of anchored to the tonic the, the key of that part and it didn't move anywhere it was just sticking there anchoring and while all the melody and other harmony was built on top of that uh, it's a nice sounding it gives a little bit more model tone to the composition another funny thing that happened was uh, Facebook had a new algorithm and I drew this picture where a uh, fast finger says like uh, comment this post because Facebook has a new algorithm and uh, when I was drawing that picture, uh, I also wrote like, because of the rhythm, I, I wrote like, uh, name your favorite time signature. And uh, I wrote my own favorite, which is 7-8, besides 4-4. Four, four. And uh, that sort of gave me the idea, why not try a different time signature and maybe that 7-8 would be nice for uh, this A part, a little bit different uh, pulse. So I had that, then a third idea was that I would have, uh, I haven't been using galloping rhythms really uh, in my music, uh, at least I can't recall, so da 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 thing would be kind of give uh, this kind of up-tempo feeling perhaps. So combining those three, So next morning I woke up 5.50 with a uh, galloping rhythm in my head. Da, 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 da. And uh, I came to my studio to try to sketch out what the new A part could be. Um, first thing I did was uh, I made sure that this A part would have um, the 7-8 drums but, and also made sure that it would be um, enough busy to have that up-tempo feeling.
I simply program the or play the uh, the bass, and I kept the same key as the original uh, uh, A part had. So I went to C. To match the 7-8 rhythm and the uh, slightly uh, syncopating uh, snares there in the drum part, uh, I variated the galloping uh, a little bit. And then, uh, then everything else was mystery. Uh, for some reason I, I took my guitar and explored what could I possibly do. and. Um, I started playing with this uh, rhythm that goes to groups of three and uh, the basic pattern is like Let's take the delay off and uh, since the bass is staying there uh, I, I started moving around uh, with the same pattern so this is what actually came out After this, I actually added another guitar that would do a harmony for this, and that would sound like. And if you pay attention and listen to this, uh, you can actually hear harmony and melody both in there. And uh, then what I actually just did was I started, you know, figuring out what those notes are and I create a MIDI track with melody that was just taken out of that uh, guitar part that I just record and, and imp improvise and compose. So I didn't really need to uh, compose anything new, it was just mainly me uh, listening uh, the melody inside hidden there with, with those guitars. And this is the line that I that I found from from the guitar tracks. Let's just take the guitars out. Uh, The melody itself sounds pretty natural and uh, once I add these Vangelis type of synth brass sounds, it sounds more cinematic. I know exactly what you're thinking. Uh, pick up that guitar and uh, play it. Uh, here's everything all together so far. Uh, the A part, the main theme, how it sounds today.
sometimes great melodies come very quickly and easy. Sometimes you have to explore and try all the different tricks. Uh, sometimes you just have to listen. Um, one great example of riffs that include melodies um, pops to my mind. Uh, check out Rats, uh, Innovation of Your Privacy or Out of Cellar um, for some great riffs with melody. Thanks for watching. Um, I might come back to this tune once we get to bass and drum recordings. Uh, but in the meantime, if you have any questions of uh, anything related to this, uh, be free to ask. Uh, I might do one of those question and answer type of videos. And um, thanks for watching again. Uh, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs>